Okay, so we're going to do like a couple of counters to the omoplata. So Dax is going to hit the move on me. Like, you find yourself in a trouble here. So he's trying to finish. So a lot of guys will try to roll here, and this is kind of the, the game that ends up happening. You, you kind of escape, but you, you end up not really in an amazing position, and he still has a lot of trouble to give you right there. Okay? So we're going to look at a little bit different idea with the movement. The first one is a little bit of an early escape. As soon as I start to feel this foot threatening the omoplata, I'm going to roll, but the way that I roll is really crucial here. So when he goes, basically I'm backing away and I'm diving under this space here. And then I end up coming out on top of him and extracting my arm. You won't always be able to just totally dominate him, but at least your arm is free from the hole. So notice the difference in the roll there. So before, I was trying to kind of just do a forward roll over here in some way, shape or form, okay? This one I'm actually backing away from him and I'm rolling underneath this space between his hip and my, my shoulder. I just kind of extend my leg and roll my head through and now I work for his knee right here. So I can pull him away up to the top and extract my arm. One more time a little bit. Regular speed. Timing is key. You can't get a late start with this. Like as soon as it's going, boom, you're right out of there. Okay? Next one we'll do is a little bit, uh, well, a lot stickier. So he's going for his own plot, but now he hugs my back. So I can't make the space like I did before and walk my hips back and, and roll under. And, uh, you know, he's, he's very, you know, serious right now. He's threatening to, you know, to submit. So what I got to do here is try to get my hips in a better position. So here's how it's going to work. Like, as long as his arm is above my, my hip line on my back, he can control me pretty good. So what I'm going to try and do is take that away. So I kind of like post on my, my head here. I'm going to reach back. See, this arm's not doing anything. I'm going to reach back and start to work on his arm here, just kind of block it. And then I'm going to try to shake my hips so that they go above his forearm this way. So now my shoulder is a lot more safe. Now I'm going to start to roll. He's still going to be trying to hold on to me. No problem. We end up kind of here. Now watch. This hand that was uh, uh, holding onto his arm is going to reach through my legs and my elbow goes right on his arm. So now his arm is blocked. He can't really pull it out anymore. My far leg just opens up like I'm doing the splits. And now he's basically, normally what I find happens here is the guy, like he feels a little disoriented and he tries to turn back in. And I just look for his neck right now. Bingo, and then I finish with either the triangle or the arm lock, depending on what you like better. So one more time a little bit. It seems kind of fancy, but it actually presents itself, you know, quite quite frequently. So I think you guys can make it work. So he's hugging me. I sense I don't really want to roll here. Before I, I go, I want to get my hips up on the opposite side of his arm. Here it won't work, okay? I gotta get my hips out first, and then I start trying to roll. A lot of times he's still very sticky with his arm. I reach through and hook it with my elbow. Then I stretch my leg and start hook, looking for my triangle here. In this case, I ended up rolling him all the way over, which is no problem, you know. You just have to kind of go with the flow once you start to get your leg over his neck, okay? So those are two omoplata escapes that I like, and hopefully you'll uh, find good use for them.